guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to film my top 10 beauty favourites, drugstore favourites. Um, I'm going to do a high-end one in the next coming videos but for today I just wanted to do the drugstore one. It was kind of hard to just pick 10 because I have a lot of great drugstore products. I mean they're cheap and they're pretty good quality. Yeah, you can't really go wrong but these are just the ones that I personally like. I'm sure there's heaps of other better ones but I probably just don't own them. <laughs> So yeah, let's just get on to the video. My very first favourite is the Australis Bronzing Powder in Sunkissed. I've heard a lot that this is a dupe for the Hall of Bronzer. Um, I've personally used the Hall of Bronzer. I don't think it's quite a dupe. This one has a lot more glitters and stuff in it, but it is still a really, really good bronzer. I use this for every day and yeah, I just really love it. And it's like $13, I think, compared to the Hall of Bronzer, which is probably around $30 or $40. My next beauty favourites are my Rimmel lipstick, and they're all different kind of Rimmel lipsticks, but I love all of them. Some of them smell amazing too, I like this purple one, it smells so good. And I just think these are amazing lipsticks, and I just love the, the way that they apply, and they are long lasting, and the colour payoff is amazing, so I just really like the Rimmel lipsticks. Next is my Australis Fresh and Flawless Powder. I think everybody talks about this in Australia because it's one of the best drugstore um, pressed powders I think in Australia as well as like the Bourjois and Rimmel one I think. I personally like this one the best. I think it does such an amazing job. It gives you some extra coverage if you need it and it just makes your face look a lot more airbrushed and it mattifies it so you're not all glowing like, or oily and yeah I really love this. The only bad thing I can say is about this product is that there's only three different um, colours that I guess that you could say that they have and even the darkest one isn't very dark at all like I use the darkest one and it's not dark at all so it's probably the only bad thing I can say about this product. The next product is my Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation. I love this foundation. I don't wear this one every day because I don't think I need like a full coverage foundation for like uni and work. I don't care that much I guess. I just wear my, uh, my Rimmel one. But I love this foundation, it gives you such a great coverage and they have a really good colour range as well. So yeah. Next is my trusty uh, CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Love, love, love this mascara. Right, I'm going to start buying new ones, I think, just giving other ones a go because for the past probably six months I've just repurchased this multiple, multiple times. But I think I'm going to start giving other ones a go just to see if there are any better drugstore ones. So then I can stop raving about this in every single video. <laughs> The next favourite is my Rimmel Scandalize eyeliners. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of them. I have the silver, black, brown, blue, purple, and white one. I wear nearly three of these on a daily basis. I wear the brown one, the white one, and the black one pretty much every day. And I love these. They're so, so creamy. Most of them are waterproof, so they stay on like even if you have a shower. But some of them just stay on a really long time, even the ones that aren't waterproof. And I just really love these eyeliners, clearly. <laughs> Next is my Essence Silky Blush. I only have one, and it's in the colour Adorable. Just looks like that. I use this on my cheeks every single day. I think it's such a pretty colour. It just adds a hint of glow and like a little bit of pink to your cheeks, which I love. I love pink. And yeah, I just think it adds such a subtle little glow on your cheeks. But also with a little bit of colour. And I really love these, they are so silky and so smooth. Next is my Chi Chi eyebrow pencil. It has like a spoolie brush type thing here and then it's just a pencil, clearly. I'm not sure what colour this is in because I've had this for the longest time and it's rubbed off. But I use this like every single day and because it's like waxy it actually helps it stay on without having to put a gel over the top. So, I love this one. Next is the highly raved about Maybelline Age One Concealer. I have the brightener as well, but I'm not actually a fan of the brightener. I think it's way too pink. So, uh, that's why I stick to my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It lasts quite a long time, and I really, really like this. I use this for pimples and also under my eyes sometimes, if depending on the foundation that I have on. And yeah, I really like this, as well as pretty much every other girl, because it's always raved about on YouTube. And lastly are some NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have two colours. One is Addis, Addis Ababa and Antwerp. I also had the red one, but I lost the red one. I love these products, like, so, so much. They stay on forever, and they're just amazing. They have the best colour range. Like, 
I also really like the Australis Balua lips, but they only have five colours and most of you would never actually wear them, whereas these ones have a lot of different kind of colours. And I just really love this one, these ones. This one's quite a nude colour, but this one's a really bright pink, and I love my bright pinks. And I just love these. Pretty much every NYX product is good. <laughs> that is the end of this video, my 10 favourite makeup products at a drugstore. I really want to do a high-end favourite product thing, so give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see that, because I really want to film one for you. And keep an eye out on my channel because I think my, the next video I upload will be a giveaway, a little sneaky giveaway. I've never done a giveaway on this channel so I'm really excited to be doing this one. And yeah, I'll see you in that video. Bye guys!